playlist. Um, I've got some good news. I've got some good news. I've got some good news. You see what's on the screen. There's a group of gamers who've become notorious in my stream, my chat, if this is your first time here. They've just become synonymous with being known as insufferable and annoying. Um, they complain about the visuals on current gen games because current gen is PS5, PC, and Xbox series, but then won't upgrade and then fail to realize it's hard to improve the visuals the performance and the gameplay, the AI, the textures, the draw distance, when you refuse to upgrade your systems, which forces developers to make games for almost 12 year old hardware. So every time a game comes out, there's always at least two, three, four of you in the chat, in the comment section of Hokage highlights. I don't understand why you're gonna be the big which is really weird, by the way, because I feel like you don't see it with the Xbox One, maybe because nobody bought that damn VCR. You really only see it with the PS4. Anytime I talk about a new game, why does it not come into the PS4, bro? It doesn't look like you can run on my PS4. And every time I tell y'all, y'all need to relax. Well, the good news today is we finally got a game that's coming to the PS4 just loud and wrong the critically acclaimed star wars jedi survivors coming to xbox one and ps4 on september 7th 2024 this was my second favorite game of the year when it came out um did this come out the same year as elden ring was this 2023 or 2022 what, what year did this come out survivor release date that was 2023 what was my game of the year last year Oh, it was 2023. That was last year. Oh, Boulder's Gate 3. My bad. Yeah, yeah. This would have won Game of the Year for me. I'm, I'm old. I'm, I'll be 34 tomorrow. I can't remember shit. This would have won Game of the Year for me if it wasn't for Boulder's Gate 3, despite its performance issues. So I'm happy to announce that one of the best games of last year will be available on a platform that released almost 12 years ago. Now, you might be wondering, it didn't run the best on PC, it didn't run the best on PS5, and it didn't run the best on Xbox Series. That doesn't matter. What does it look like? What will the PS4 version of Star Wars Jedi Survivor look like? Well, ladies and gentlemen, they haven't released any gameplay footage, which would have been nice, but I have a sneaky suspicion they won't before the release of the game. They're just going to advertise this via tweets. And if they do do a trailer, it's going to be footage of the PC version. But I have a sneaky suspicion the game is going to look something like Cyberpunk 2077 on the PlayStation 4. Now, what year did... I think it was 2020. What? What year did Cyberpunk 2077? I think it was 2020. Yeah. Uh, okay. So what we got right here is a game that came out in 2020, four years ago. That was back when the PS4 was only eight years old. Now it's 12, as soon as 2025 hits around. I have a sneaky suspicion Star Wars is gonna look like this. So you guys really wanted a game to come out on PS4. Let's see what the performance is gonna look something like. Here we go. On my on my PC, there's floating signs everywhere. Like yeah, you're gonna get floating signs, textures not coming in, one person on the street. <laughs> I predict <laughs> I predict Star Wars Jedi Survivor is going to blow up your fucking PlayStation 4. And I'm going to be honest, I pray to God, Buddha, Zeus, Allah, and whoever else y'all believe in, that it does. Because when it blows up your PS4 and it blows up your house, because most of you niggas still live with mommy and daddy in your basement, then they're going to get mad at you. Then they're going to say, we don't got a home anymore. You nuked the house. You got to get a job, dude. You have to get a job. And you know what's going to happen for PS4 niggas when they finally get a job? Well, once you finish paying off the debt to your parents, 
for being the basement dweller lizard that you are, eventually you're gonna be able to save some of that money and maybe, maybe in 2028, you can get a PS5 when we're playing PlayStation 6. <laughs> Fucking dickheads. <laughs> so enjoy this, enjoy this, enjoy. This is what you guys want. This is what you want. Remember, this is a one year old game coming to last gen. The game's done, they should have plenty of footage. But for some reason, when they announced it, if you notice, they only have the pre-order link. Hmm, I wonder why. You'd think they'd show footage of this amazing PS4 version, right? <sighs> Sadly, you PS4 niggas won't read between the lines of what I just said, as well as showing off of Cyberpunk on the PS4. So you guys enjoy that. We're gonna, yeah, don't you find that suspicious? You guys enjoy that. You're just gonna see 10 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10. There's gonna be a boy from there. See, I knew, I knew it. I knew that shit could run it, bro. Enjoy the SWAT team coming to your house. Enjoy the CIA. You'll finally wake up Joe Biden. He'll probably send the National Guard to your house when you blow it up. There's been bombings all across the nation. Every major city, homes are blowing up. Like, I remember that news report. Y'all remember that news report of the house that just blew up randomly that came out like last year? That's gonna be y'all when y'all boot up Jedi Survivor on your PS4, enjoy. Smoke everywhere. It's gonna look like the end of Sekiro with the smoke all over the buildings and shit like that. It's gonna look like when the nukes go off in Fallout 4. Fallout, it's about to cause fallout, man. So build your bunkers. Everybody in the chat, build your bunkers. Um, when is this supposed to be? September 17th. Make sure you have your, uh, everybody who's not on PS4. Make sure to build your bonkers and have it ready, stocked up with food from Costco. I just seen a TikTok that Costco is now selling survival food for bomb shelters that'll last up to 20 years. It has a 20 year shelf life. So make sure to go to Costco, pick some of that up, put it up in your bomb shelter, put a nice little twin, hard ass twin bed in there. Um, and then on the evening of September 16th, everybody head down into their bomb shelters because fallout will begin uh, when the PS4s start playing Star Wars Jedi Survivor. At least we will be able to survive and play the PlayStation 6 because the selfish, non-critical thinking using PS4 niggas refuse to let it go. God bless America. <sighs> Anyways, uh, moving on. We got a bunch of Monster Hunter stuff. Judgment Day in September. Yep, it's gonna be it's gonna be like E-Day. It's gonna be like E-Day in Gears of War. <laughs> Fucking the bombs are gonna go off like in Fallout when the PS4 start. The locusts are gonna come out of ground, out of the ground. Locust Queen, General Ram everywhere. Where do we go to PS4? We're doomed. We're fucking doomed. So we won't even be able to play the game we're about to talk about now. This guy is funny. Monster Hunter Wilds. Uh, they released a bunch of trailers for like different classes and it's focus mode. I don't know what this is. We're gonna check it out. I've seen a lot of people hyping it up. Let's see what the hype's about. Going crazy over this game. Obviously, carefully aim your attacks or guards. My only thing about this game is like it looks good, but I don't know, man. Like the frame rate still look. Am I bugging? Does the frame rate look a little shaky to y'all? This don't look like it. Look like it's running at like forty frames. Maybe 30. Focus mode will highlight the wounds. Ah. So basically you'll have like Batman vision or Eagle vision. And in exchange for not being able to attack, you can spot the weaknesses on enemies quicker. It's early. Dropping the sub, we see you. Attacks to wound will deal more damage. Well, obviously, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Why would I ever enter focus mode? Like, obviously, the tongue would be a weakness. Like, <laughs> why would I enter it for that? So, is this a new Monster Hunter fans? Is this a new mechanic? I'm not. I'm not too familiar with the franchise. Is this a new mechanic? Uh, mechanic. 
got the raw. 2025. Okay, that was cool. That was cool. That was cool. Let's see what else we got. Mad new mechanics. Okay, okay. Official mechanics overview. Let's do it. Ratatata. When you're carrying a big ass sword, you're gonna walk slower. Say it ain't so. What a surprise. <laughs> Have you played any of your previous Monster Hunter? Yeah, I played Monster Hunter 4, I think. It was on the 3DS. I wasn't a big fan. But I'm keeping my eye on this one. The Chocobos! Bring Wild Hearts back. Why? You ain't gonna play it. That's a, hey. What you mean, bring Wild Hearts back? You ain't gonna play it. That's the reason it got shut down, because y'all didn't play it. <laughs> Cut it out. Okay, okay. I like that. Streamlining where the where the enemies are at. So I don't gotta run around aimlessly looking for the big ass T-Rex. It was on Game Pass. It was free. You still didn't play it. For people who play Monster Hunter, how often do you have to sharpen your weapon? Like, is that an annoying mechanic? Because I can see that being annoying if I have to constantly manage my weapon durability. How, how do y'all feel about that? All the time. Oh, my God. That was one thing that pissed me off about um, Liza P. You'd be in the middle of a boss fight, about to win the boss fight, and you know any Souls like game where you're the boss is down to the last third, they usually get more aggressive. I remember there was so many times where I like I lost a boss fight because I had to sharpen my weapon in the middle of a fucking fight. That should have that should annoyed me. Various ammos. Flash grenades. Ah, oh, sweet! We get a, a hook along and a shaker. Can you swing around? That's cool. Nice, so you'll be able to pick up. I like that, like it's streamlining some things like that, being able to move and just pick up stuff on the go. That's cool. What else we got? The Great Sword. I was told this is probably the class that I would like because I use the BBC Blade in Elden Ring. It's just like this. The Great Sword! Oh! It's very slow and hard hitting. Yeah, I'm trying to be a power puncher. Ooh, that's saucy. Oh, you can parry, nice. That looks fire. That's that's definitely impossible. I might I might have to run that. That's definitely impossible. Uh, I just hope there's a bunch of shit on the HUD. I feel that you can still fight when your weapons need to be sharp, and you just do less damage and drop a tier. Got you. Okay. Okay. Um, official glaive weapon. Black man. Dei. Dei monster hunter. Insect glaive. Mobile weapon you use when controlling a creature known as a gun. Game 
powerful buffs like Harvest and Extract. And yeah, this is the saucy class. That looked like Dragon's Dog a little bit when he was like riding on top of him. That's the stick and move class. That's the saucy shit. That was pretty cool. Uh, wait, heavy, heavy bow gun. Let me, where, where that at? Oh man, I don't think I had that trailer saved. Yeah, I didn't. Um, heavy bow. Boom. No PS4 release. I don't think the PS4 is running this one, man. Would this in Monster Hunter would this be equivalent to like using magic in Elden Ring? The sit back and shoot niggas class? Big ass LMG. The Texan class. Mouse and keyboard class. True blue America. The Mickey shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I would play that. Shit looks boring to me. Uh, but to each his own. To each his own. It's looking good though. It's looking good. When is it? It just says 2025. Can we get a release date or something? The America class. Um. This was an interesting tweet that came off across my timeline, too. Um, apparently, the next game from Wolf Eye Studios, who made Weird West, it was on Game Pass. Y'all probably didn't play it, though. Uh, will make Dishonored and Prey fans happy, says creative director and ex-Arcane president, Rafael Caliento. The team will reveal more about the title in a few days and said to be the first person retro sci-fi RPG. So there's a new game coming that will make Dishonored and Prey fans excited. Um... I played Evil West. That's a different game. Weird West was a over the head type of game. It was okay, over the top head uh, type game. Um, we'll keep an eye on this. We'll keep an eye on this. They're making big claims. They're making big claims. Uh, Ready at Dawn is closing down. Did you see that? The one that's owned by Meta. Is that the one? Is that that? And then um, we got some data. We got some data here. Do -do 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 -do. The digital download ratio for full game sales on PlayStation hits 80% for the first time this quarter compared to the 60% in Q2, Q2 uh, 2019 and 72%. Um, this means that a lot of games sold, the 80% of them are sold digitally. So basically in the past four years, every year it's gone up a little bit digital sales to the point where it's overtaken the majority. And now 80% of PS5 owners are buying games digitally, which means hard, uh, hard copies are on the decline which sucks uh, because it means game preservation is on the decline as well. What do you think about Jedi Survivor and PS4 going to Xbox? I just talked about it. Um, I'm going to continue to buy hard copies that I'm genuinely interested in. Uh, and all digital world is kind of scary because, like I said, you don't own these games. They can pull it off your hard drive at any point uh, versus actually owning the disc. You can just pop it in and play it. So if it's a game I really want, if I got to make the drive to Best Buy, I'm not supporting GameStop. I don't support them. They fucking suck. Um, I will. I will. Wukong going on digital. Yeah, like Wukong, like you have to buy it digital, which sucks. I think they're going to have a hard copy release eventually, but like as everybody has to buy it at digital initially, um, which means it's a game that's at risk of getting lost time. But don't a lot of games come discless nowadays? I swear, even the hard copies just come. To, I don't know. I bought um, I bought a hard copy of uh, Stellar Blade. It was on the disc. It just ran on the disc. I think some discs are just download, but then some still run. Is Wukong coming to PS4? Does that game look like it can run on the PS4? <laughs> I can remember the last hot card copy I bought. Petition calls for saving games. I talked about that last stream. Uh, like they just give you the case with a code. Yeah, those, those, those are trash releases. I don't know why they do that shit. Shame on them. I feel like those companies should be called. I think the better question is why do they get away with that? The U.S. government needs to step in because I feel like the EU government be stepping in a lot. The U.S. government needs to step in at least for Americans to be like, look, if you're releasing a disc version, there needs to be data on the fucking disc, not a fucking download. That's stupid, 